and this oxygen atom this uh, this oxygen atom it may not have changed from x to y but it has definitely changed from x to w because it has completely disappeared so now let's see what is happening we need all three oxygen atoms when we get y so what we need to remember right now is that we need all three oxygen atoms when we get y so there can be two things that are happening over here so i can either react it with hcn and get the cn group because obviously we know that there's a ketone group over here so it will go and it will have a nucleophilic addition reaction with hcn and that's how we get the cn over here but as you can see there is no nitrogen in this molecular formula so that has not done that has not been done yet so what we will do is we we have we, we anyway, anyway have to react it with an alcohol because we have to get the ester group so this is a carboxylic acid group as i said and this is an ester group so we anyway have to react it with an alcohol to make the ester so let's react and we will be reacting with with methanol because this is a ch3o group so ch3o means that the original alcohol used was methanol so now let's make the ester group we have reacted this with ethanol and we have made this this ketone group will remain the same there is nothing happening to the ketone however the carboxylic acid is now reacting with an alcohol to form an ester so now we have this so if we count all the atoms we have 1 2 3 and 4 carbon atoms so this is correct we have three hydrogens over here and three hydrogens over here so we have six hydrogen atoms even this is correct and we have three oxygen atoms so 1 2 and 3 so this is the correct uh, structure for the, uh, for compound y because it agrees with the molecular formula and it also agrees with the root to w because we have so we have achieved one thing on the root of root to w and that one thing is that we have converted the carboxylic acid to an ester so now we have to achieve another thing which is to get the cn and the alkene over here so as i said the only way we can get a cn instead of this oxygen is uh, not in in place of this oxygen but the only way we can get a cn is by the nucleophilic addition reaction because we know that this is a ketone and hence it will react with hcn which is hydrogen cyanide to get a key to get uh, to get the cn group in the molecule so this nucleophilic addition takes place we have added hcn over here so here we added the alcohol ch3oh here we have added hcn and what we get is we get ch3 c the o as you know that this nucleophil in this nucleophilic addition reaction we the, the o becomes an oh and a single bond and we have one more bond to a cn group to a cn group and this bond remains the same and the ester group will have no change because it does not react with the hcn so it will remain the same so now we have compound z which has a cn and an oh and z goes to w in uh, in which this uh, we only have the cn not the oh and this becomes a double bond uh, and it becomes an alkene instead of an alkene bond so it becomes an it's so it becomes a carbon carbon double bond so we will see how that happens later but for now we have suggested the identities of compounds y and of compound z so now the second question is suggest you suitable reagents and conditions for each of the steps 1 to 3 okay so let's start with step 1 step 1 is an esterification reaction uh, and uh, for step 1 the reagent we have used is ch3oh as i've written over here the reagent uses ch3oh methanol and for this reaction we use concentrated h2so4 as a catalyst and we use a high temperature so let's just uh, let's just say we heat it, the reaction so th these are the reagents and the conditions for this for step 1 now step 2 was a nucleophilic addition reaction in which we just add hcn at room temperature we don't heat it we do nothing the hcn is added at room temperature so we have done these reaction conditions in the carbonyl compounds chapter the second one we have done in the carbonyl compounds chapter and the first one we have done in the alcohols esters and carboxylic acids chapter so you must be remembering that from the as series now let's look at step 3 so step 3 we have a double bond 
and we have re also removed an OH. So this looks like a dehydration reaction because in dehydration we remove the alcohol group and